there is a consensus on one inescapable conclusion. We are in a rapid trajectory that threatens to overwhelm our healthcare system calling our COVID growth rate at a wildfire level. Governor Sisolak takes action to attack a COVID surge. He is putting new restrictions into place, saying continued COVID spread may limit your access to health care. It's not just for COVID. If you get in a car accident or have a heart attack or break a wrist, you won't be able to access care if our hospitals are full and there isn't enough staff. This is our biggest threat. The governor is implementing a statewide pause starting Tuesday at 12.01 a.m. He says this is not, not a shutdown order. The governor says restaurants and bars may continue to operate under strict social distancing requirements at 25 percent occupancy indoor and outdoor. No more than four patrons per table are allowed and seating at bars or countertops must continue to follow existing social distancing guidelines. Now for restaurants and bars that serve food, reservations are required. Walk-ins will not be allowed. No additional businesses will be closed, but capacity limits and new mitigation measures will be imposed on both businesses and gatherings. Weighing the loss of jobs and businesses versus the loss of health and lives is painful without a perfect solution. While prioritizing the health and safety of Nevadans, I am also balancing the significant ramifications that further restrictions will have on our suffering economy. Also under the statewide pause, private gatherings will be restricted to 10 people or fewer from no more than two households, whether indoors or outdoors. Other businesses that will be moving from 50% to 25% capacity during this pause include museums, art galleries, libraries, zoos, and aquariums. Also, arcades, racetracks, bowling alleys, mini golf, amusement, and theme parks, and other similar activities. This, as the governor explained, the recent rise in COVID cases. 10% of all COVID cases recorded in Nevada since the beginning of this pandemic were reported in the last seven days. That's 10% of our total cases have been recorded in just the last seven days. And other businesses reduced as well include gyms, fitness and dance studios, and places like martial arts studios currently operating at 50%. The governor is also strengthening a mask mandate with no exceptions for indoor exercise. Masks must be worn at all times unless you're actively drinking water. If the activity is too strenuous to be done while wearing a mask properly, you must seek an alternative. Public gatherings will be limited to no more than 50 people or 25% of fire code capacity, whichever is less. And this includes places of worship, indoor movie theaters, live theater performances, casino showrooms, weddings, funerals, milestone celebrations, and any other event where members of the public may gather together at the same time in the same place for the same purposes. Now, the statewide pause will last three weeks. The governor says shutdowns could happen if the number of COVID cases doesn't fall.